Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. The other day I found something unusual with my Oniscus ocellus. Now this population of Oniscus ocellus comes from bugs in cyberspace. This was years ago. He sent me some wild-caught individuals and these are all descendants of those wild-caught individuals. But as some of you may have noticed already, there are a few Porcelio scabbers in here. They must have hitchhiked as really small monkey along with the um, Oniscus ocellus and periodically I come into the enclosure here and just remove those and put those in with my population of Porcelio scabber, my wild types. But the other day when I was looking in here and I was doing that, I noticed something different. I found three somewhat unusual specimens. This one, as you can see, lacks pigmentation on the uropods in the area immediately surrounding the uropods. It's a little bit difficult to focus on but something interesting going on there for sure. This one has a few areas on the edge of the carapace that are similarly lacking pigment. And this specimen seems fairly normal, but it does lack pigment at the terminal end of the right antenna. So, since these are from a fairly isolated population, it's fairly possible that there are other specimens in the enclosure that carry this trait and that it will be something that I can genetically isolate. Uh, it is possible that it is identical to one of the other uh, mutations that is already established in the hobby like koi or something like that, but that remains to be seen. As you can see, none of them have uh, a predominance of white on them, so it might be sort of a reverse Dalmatian trait we will see, but it is uh, always fun to discover something unusual in the isopods that I keep, and hopefully I'll be able to um, reproduce this trait in their offspring. I'd really like to thank all of our Patreon backers. 2020 is going to be an exciting year with all the help that they have been giving us, and I hope that uh, we'll continue to produce videos that you appreciate, and that if you haven't considered becoming a patron of Aquarium Max Pets that you might consider doing so this year. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.